All right. I want to start off. Call hello Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rachako. That's what that. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, more so now than ever. Um, shalom to the Akim Akwaf listening and learning. Shalom to the Akwaf. So I can shalom to the confusion of faith, brethren. Um, join on to our ranks as well as those that were hoping to join on to our ranks. Um, once again, it's the brother Yahweh Sop out of GMS Cleveland Church. A fellow servant bringing you another lesson. And last week it was decreed by the head of our camp to basically do a video on the Shabbat. As well as um, as far as the holy days, we're going to start doing videos on the holy days. And that's the spirit because the brother out of GMS, GMS um, KC, Kansas City, um, was going into the um, Passover, um, you know, the whole Passover ceremony. And then, you know, I guess through the spirit, the head of our camp actually, you know, decreed that. But not only are we doing, uh, going to start doing videos on the um, holy days, we're going to start doing videos on these pagan holidays that um, Esau and America still partake in. Um, and the most recent one coming up is um, that um, holiday Valentine's Day. Uh, I I did a video yesterday, but due to spirit, you know, some crazy shit happened. Uh, so I, I just figured I'd redo the video. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to start the, the uh, jump right into it. This is an article I found because, like I said, when I did the video previously, I uh, came across a little article and it mentions some of the similar things, but I found some. This one's a little bit better. But uh, St. Valentine's Day, like majority of these holidays, are all based on finances to keep this wicked-ass place going, as well as pagan holidays. Valentine's no exception. Uh, I'm going to read. It says, the truth behind St. Valentine's Day. St. Valentine's Day is the world's holiday of love. Since the Bible states that Yahweh is love, First John 4 and 8 and 16, does he approve of the celebration of this day? Does... He wanted his people, true Christians, partaking of the candy and cards or any customs associated, associated with this day. When Yahweh says he wants you to live life abundantly, Slaki, John 10 and 10, does that include celebrating a festive, seemingly harmless holiday like Valentine's Day? The power who gives us everything, life, food, drink, the ability to think for ourselves, etc., surely approves of St. Valentine's Day, the holiday for lovers to exchange gifts, right? Do not be so certain. Do not assume anything. <laughs> that's the spirit because I was, that's one of the reasons why we're doing a video. Uh, God know he's a two-third, but, you know, you got helpers. You know, everybody ain't a prophet, you know, but he... Uh, I, I won't just say he's just wicked as all the rest of two-thirds, but long story short, and I'm not trying to make this too long, you know, he called, well, he texts me, because me and him, like, bumping heads, and uh, he puts up, you know, in the text, he popped up in the video, and I don't really care about brothers seeing it, you know, but he, was, he made a statement about me drinking. Now, mind you, you ain't supposed to overindulge anything, so, you know, but it's not a sin to drink. But he put that message in there because now all of a sudden he's born again where he's into this AA shit. And, you know, that's cool or whatever. Anything to make you better. But how much is he into the, you know, the Messiah drink? He, how much is he more so seeking the Messiah? Now, he want me to go to these AA meetings. But he doesn't want to, like, when I explain to him about the Hebrew Israelites to check out the videos of the cat, you know, like, and now that I think about it, like, it was times, you know, I've called myself trying to help him like he's helped me, but, you know, he done told me to put off going to camp and shit, and I'm like, dude, the fuck, you know what I mean? That's like me telling you to pick up a beer, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, people pray, and it's funny, too, like, it's great that, you know, he's getting himself together, especially due to the fact that, I mean, you know, well, that's all through the will and power of Yahweh by Yahweh Shabbat Yahweh Shabbat, but, you know, you try to get yourself together, now you're not spiritual, I mean, not so lucky, you're not physically drunk or 
uh, inebriated or intoxicated by the wine of Babylon, you know, uh, you know, the physical wine of Babylon, you ain't all uh, uh, drunk and drug it, but you still spiritually drunk. I mean, he, after this government shutdown, he still think because he got this little job he ain't drinking, he gonna make a way in Babylon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, real talk. So, I ain't mean to digress. Um, but, like, certain messages popped up in there, and I, I through the spirit, I was just like, I'm gonna do it over. But, uh, cause, and first of all, like I said, I was tripping on because I'm like, damn, you know, I ain't even had a drink since last week. Real talk. So for him, and when I'm drinking, I usually don't. He just, I mean, you know, we can't tell the little truth. So you know, as you know, he he, I've known him for years. You know, because of you know my lot, and you know he's been a helpmate to me. I've been a helpmate to him. But you know, I have not. I have been drinking, and I have went off. And I guess the spirit got on me, and I didn't complain. Well, I complain, but I went to Babylon and the shit going on. And you know, instead of him. People hear that as a spiritual message. They look at you, oh, you're a drug. You know what I mean? Or some of the hell I catch, I have ranting about that, you know, which I'm sure even, I mean, all, I can say all, but some men of the Lord have done. You know what I mean? But, you know, I have, I, I'm not even drinking like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, get, I got offended, you know what I mean? You know, and then I had to burst his little bubble because truth hurt. I wasn't offended about him saying I drink too much because that didn't hurt. But it's the assumption of it. Like, Dude, you sitting up here worried about all the wrong shit. You know what I mean? You should be worried about salvation. You know what I mean? But, you know, because the most high, like I said, it says you ain't seeking him the way that, I mean, you know, but who's the say? I mean, he keep on talking about how he, uh, you know, is actually, oh, I want to go to church. I want to go to church. And then, but then, you know what I'm saying? Last week, couldn't make it to church. I say, I'm going to church. He never once wanted to come down to the church that I go to. He want to go to this little uh, Christian church, you know, <laughs> like, but hey, you know, it's funny. Um, anyhow, I, like I said, I ain't mean to digress. <clears throat> it's locking. Do not even take this article word for it. This article's word for it. Go to the history books and encyclopedias. Go to the Bible. Then you will know the real truth behind St. Patrick's Day, Salakia, St. Valentine's Day, and that's the spirit because it's like, don't even take none of the other stuff. It's like, go to the Bible. You know what I mean? The source. What and uh, you will know what Yahweh expects you to do to do about it. Like Christmas, Easter, Halloween, New Year's, and the other holidays of this world. I'm gonna keep this article because it's just it's telling the truth. Because all the more pagan holidays, it says like Christmas, Easter, Halloween, New Year's, and other holidays of this world. Saint Valentine's Day. Is another attempt to whitewash perverted customs and services of pagan gods and idols by Christianizing them. An innocent and harmless, as innocent and as harmless as Saint Valentine's Day may appear, its traditions and customs originate from two of the most sexually perverted pagan festivals of ancient history: Lupercalia, Lupercalia, and the Feast of Day of Juno, February. Wuta, celebrated on February 15th. Wow, it's lucky. I'm slurring. Celebrated on February 15th. Luper, Luper Kalia, known as the Festival of Sexual License, was held by the ancient Romans in honor of Lupercus, god of fertility and husbandry, protector of herds and crops and a mighty hunter. And when you take the time to think about this, like when you go into all these, like, like Egypt and Babylon and, and that's how you know, like, the most high code ain't hey, how you do it. You know, everything has an order. Because all of them, like, ancient civilizations all had a group of deities. You know what I'm saying? America shows you that now. You know what I mean? Like, like it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not a coincidence that the, the, this age of superheroes with Marvel and DC and all that. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I grew up on, on comic books. A lot of men in the truth still watch, you know, yeah, it, it's probably a reason why we graduate, gra uh, gravitated towards that as children, what not, you know, because at the end of the day, with the spiritual power, you know, it's deep. Well, my point is, is, that's not my coincidence, you know what I mean? Uh, and items by Christianizing them, and that's true. As, they, you know, they put a Christian face on uh, a lot of the ancient deities, you know what I'm saying? It's only one supreme being. And his son, you know, 
as innocent and as harmless as Valentine's Day may appear, his oh, Salakia, uh, it says, a husbandry protector of herds and crops and a mighty hunter, especially of wolves. The Romans believed that Lupercus would protect Rome from roving bands of wolves, which devour a large stack of people. Salakia, assisted by Vestal Virgins, Lupercini, male priest conducted purification rites by sacrificing goats and a dog in the Lupercal cave on Palestine Hill, where the Romans believed the twins, Romulus and Remus, had been sheltered and nursed by a she wolf before they eventually found it wrong. Now, do you believe that shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, they bugged up. It's like, uh, Romulus and Remus. Uh, uh, was sheltered by a she wolf before she eventually found it. So like before they eventually found the wrong, clothed the Lloyd clothes made for sacrificed goats and smeared their blood. The looper, you see it, you hear this shit? Clothed the Lloyd clothes. This is a better article, by the way. So I'm glad I'm doing the, the video over. over. Clothed in loin cloths made from sacrificed goats. So they took and sacrificed the goat, made loin cloths, and smeared their blood. Smeared it in the blood. The lubricant would run about Rome, striking women with febra thongs made from skins of sacrificed goats. The looper C believed that the flogging purified women and granted their for. Salakia and guaranteed their fertility and ease of childbirth. And to show you how bugged out, just imagine if everything repeats itself, you know, nothing new under the sun. Look how bugged out the bitches is down there. Like, they can hear a song. Like, for instance, a perfect example. I remember one time when I caught what R. Kelly was doing. He said he's like the Pied Piper. You know, he got all the rats following him. And when I thought about it, I said, oh, yeah, he cold. Because you got bitches to this day. Like, they was talking about uh, R. Kelly went to... Uh, was coming to Cleveland around the time when he was all in the news. And I was like, you know, we was speaking on it. We was going into it. We was like, at the end of the day, that ain't going to stop a bro from with, with all the charges. And the, well, not charges, but all the accusations and whatnot. But not just accusations, because you had people coming out saying this. It ain't just, oh, yeah, a hearsay. Well, yeah, it's accusation, because it ain't proven yet. He ain't went to court and found guilty of it, supposedly. So, you know, but uh, you still going to have people that's going to, uh, Bust their ass to come see. So, you know, be like, you probably had people walking around at that time just, yeah, I hope he hits me with the floor. You know what I mean? Like, bug the fuck out, man. Like, uh, February derives from febra or means purification. To the Romans, February was also sacred to Juno for Feb Ruta Utta, the god of feverous, fever of love and women of women and marriage. Uh, that's another woman worship. So that's a new uh, piece of information that people didn't know. I'm going to keep this article since February is supposed to be devoted to a goddess, a woman worship. And that makes sense, though. That's why the stupid ass holiday is in this fucking butt. So it go back to pagan hot. Ooh, it's a piece of shit. On February 14th, and it's always on the 14th. It's always on the fourteenth. You know, some, some. Uh, I think like Thanksgiving. Like sometimes it changes. Like it's on the twenty second, sometimes twenty third, sometimes. I can't recall. I always know it's usually that week, but I don't think it stays on the same day. You know, of course, Christmas stays on the same day, but I think like Thanksgiving that usually because I think it'd be tw the twenty second and twenty third. I'm gonna go look that up for sure. Uh, Cause I ain't really partook in it in so long, you know what I mean. Which had the on uh, well, February fourteen billets, small pieces of paper, each of which had the name of a teenage girl written on it. It's lucky. Or put into a container. Teenage boys would then choose one billet at random. The boy and the girl whose name was drawn will become a couple. Join it in the boy and the girl whose name was drawn will become a couple. Joining in erotic games and feasts and parties celebrated throughout Rome. Now, when I read it out of the other article, it never said it was children. Well, teenagers. And so, about, you know, society say teenagers, what, after 12. So, at the end of the day, the Bible says once you are able to, you know, certain things, 
just like a female, then you're considered a man or a woman, which makes sense, though. That makes sense. That's why, I mean, when you take the think about it, look at our, look at this society. I'm going to say our society. Look at America. I mean, the way that they do things. 18, you can be 18 and go kill a motherfucker, but you're going to be 21 to buy alcohol. Stupid. You know what I mean? Then, yeah, still, you think by that time, this dude that's 19, he done killed the motherfucker because he in the service. You don't think he's getting alcohol still? This place is full of shit. But my point being, that's why you got so many young acting adults. You know what I mean? Because of the way they do things here. You know what I mean? Um, like one of the brothers in the cowboy always likes to go into it. It's accounts of you had kings that were on the throne at like seven years old. I, I believe, I don't want to be misleading, but I know at a young age. Now, they might have had advisors or whatnot, but they still was put in positions of authority. Uh, Salaki, uh, where am I? After the festival, they will remain sexual partners for the rest of the year. This custom was observed in the Roman Empire for centuries. Whitewashing, perversion. And 494 A.D. Pope Galeus renamed the festival Juno Feb Root Utta, the Feast of the Purification of the Virgin Mary. <laughs> so it's the same. They take they take part in the same shit. They just put different spread on it. And this is, I, I never went into uh, who this Pope is. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep this article up. I'm, Article, I will probably check it out. The date of his observance was later changed from February 14th. Oh, so no, he changed a lot. February 14th to February 2nd. So then how did we get back to February 14th for Valentine's Day? Then changed back, right. Okay, so <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> Answer my question right there. Then back to the 14th. It's also known as Can, can Delimus, the presentation of the Lord, the purification of the blessed virgin and the feast of the presentation of the Christ in the temple. After Constantine had made the Roman church brand of Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire, 325 AD, as around the castle of Nicaea and all that, church leaders wanted to do away with the pagan festivals of the people. Luper Calalia was high on their list, but the Roman citizens thought otherwise. It was not until 496 AD that the church had and Rome was able to do anything about Lupercalia. Powerless to get rid of it, Pope Galeus instead changed it from February 15th to the 14th and called it St. Valentine's Day. Wow. So that so the name St. Valentine's Day went all... Well, no, what? And that other article said it, it, it did that. And they said one of the rulers, the Pope, actually killed two men, and that's how he actually went into... Valentine's too. It was named after one of the church saints who Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a spirit. It was named after one of the church saints who in two two hundred seventy AD was executed by the Emperor for his beliefs. According to the Catholic Encyclopedia. Oh wow, that's deep. Nah I Oh wow! That, oh, call hello. You how about Shelby? I was shot by a ship. They're hot with that's working. Now I always heard somebody said where well, you get the name Saint Valentine's Day because of a black man got killed by white men, like how the Candyman story. If you ever seen that movie Candyman, and now nah, that makes sense because uh, well, he might probably wasn't an eater by, but my point being. I could believe that the saint was a black guy because, like I said, I always heard it's not a, somebody told me that back in the day. It was like you could, that's why they said that they they didn't partake in Valentine's Day because it's they based off of a black man getting killed, and, and this is to a point too because at that time, you know what I mean? Like it was a lot of Jake, especially with the Holy Roman Empire. Now I don't know if it was an Edomite that killed him. Yeah, that's deep. They was like his name was Valentine's too. According to the Catholic Encyclopedia, at least three different St. Valentine's, all of the martyrs are mentioned in martyrologies under the date of February 14th. One is described as a priest at Rome, another as Bishop of Inter... But uh, martyred Turney, and these two seem both to have suffered in the second half of the third century and to have been buried in the Flamian way, but at different distances from... Oh, this is a long article. I don't know if I'm going to read it, this whole thing. But it's very interesting. 
So the first band they called Valentine, because I ain't expect to go this long. But who was the original Valentine? What does the name Valentine mean? Valentine comes from Latin, Valentinus, which derives from Valens, to be strong, powerful, mighty. The Bible describes a man with a similar title. And Kush began, then where he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter from the Lord, wherefore it was said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord, he was said to have hunted with bow and arrow. As mentioned as the Romans celebrated Luke Pekerler to honor the hunter God. The hunter God, Lupercus, to the Greeks from whom the Romans had copied most of their mythology. Lupercus, like I said, recycling. Because, and I think, I think the Greeks got most of their mythology from of the Egyptians. Lupercus was known as Pan, the god of light. The Phoenicians worshipped the same deity as Baal, the sun god. Baal was many of the names of the titles for Nimrod, a mighty hunter, especially of wolves. So, like I said, at the end of the day, there's no new thing on the sun in the book of Ecclesiastes. It mentions that. You know what I mean? A lot of this stuff is recycled. You know what I mean? That's how I make the most high so cold. So why can't you believe that, you know, a spirit continues to come back? You know, you put out your judgments for what you did in your past, like, on earth. Why can't you believe that? Uh, you know what you say? Well, I'm going to look at this, this truth behind St. Valentine's Day. I suggest brothers go find this article, or anybody that's just curious, because, like I said, it, it's going into some stuff. Uh, but, like I said, I ain't got time to read the whole thing. Yeah. Let me read this part. Why paganism is wrong. Just why does Yahweh hate anything that resembles pagan customs? It's possible to whitewash or, or Christianize pagan practices and make them cling. Is it okay to practice pagan customs as long as you worship God? Notice what God says in Leviticus chapter 18. After rescuing Israel from slavery, Yahweh warned them not to practice the customs they had picked up in Egypt. God. Or learned the way, customs and traditions of the Gentile nations, and they were encountering the promised land. Verses 1 and 3, that's Gen um, Leviticus 18, 1 and 3. And still, Yahweh commanded Israel to follow his ways. Yahweh then described the pagan ways of these ungodly nations to great detail. Sister Buck, uh, Salaki. In verses 7 to 20, he condemns all. All kinds of heterosexual sex relations that fall outside the holy boundaries of marriage, incest, fornication, adultery, etc. Yahweh condemns homosexuality and bestiality. Together, these sins break down and destroy the family until Yahweh so lovingly, Salakia, the family of unity that Yahweh so lovingly created and instituted. Notice what Yahweh links to these perverses, and you shall not let any of your seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shall you profane the name of Yahweh. I am the Lord. Yahweh ties in the perverse sexual practices of godly pagan nations with human sacrifice. Parents offering the lives of their children to pagan gods. The Bible shows that Israel not only disobeyed Yahweh and wholeheartedly embraced the sexual immorality of Gentiles, they even went a step further. And they turned unto me, Salaka, and they have turned unto me the back and not the face. Though I taught them rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. But they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not to do. So I, I commanded them not, neither came in, it into my mind, and they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. That's uh, Jeremiah 32, 33 through 35. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it went into the whole like it's a pagan holiday. So you know, and it's multiple reasons why uh, the Most High, you know, uh, well, it's multiple reasons why uh, this devil allows them customs to continue the practices. Think about all those major. Pagan holidays. They all produce money for this wicked ass economy. So, of course, they're going to keep it going. You know, uh, bear with me for a sec. Oh, here we go. Um, but, but, 
they all produce the uh, money, and, and, and money is what? But I'm going to start, this First Timothy 6 and um, 7. I'm going to start at 6. First Timothy 6 and 6. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Verse 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can't carry nothing out of Verse 8, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. So you should be content, like, with just, you know, your daily bread. You know what I mean? Like, be myself, personal testimony, not to jump into it or dwell on it or delve into it too, too, deep, too deep or too long. But I came, the most high script me from everything. You know, I had to give up a lot of things, and it's true. And still not understanding the severity, severity of this truth. But then also, if you faithful to the Most High, He's faithful to you. I mean, He blessed me with all the things He took away too. You know what I mean? That's how I know this thing is real. Uh, but do you think I'm trying to sit up there like at one point I thought I fit in Esau can do? I could buy fifteen houses and buy that portion. Had this, and then, and then, and then, not never know. Now you know I don't. I try to do it in there. Uh, but continue with this little punk ass job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tim would have getting some kind of income coming in, you know, because he just blessed me, you know. At first, I wasn't working. Through that government shutdown, I just started working, you know what I mean? It ain't the greatest job, but it's beating. If we, if we, he cut, it ain't no if. It's when they cut this shit again. You got to like I said, right now, I feel like the government shut down because a lot of people ain't getting no steps. I can't help but laugh at that, by the way. Uh, verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and, and snare and, and too many Foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And what's that? A book of Matthew, you where uh, Most High says it's easier for a, a leader to go through a cowboy's eye than uh, a rich man to uh, get to the kingdom of heaven because they ain't gonna want to give up the, the the luxuries of this world. When you take time to think about it, though, to get some of the luxuries, why the fuck would you even want to partake in it? You know what I mean? Like. You should think a lot of dudes. Well, you 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 got some being of integrity. I'm sure it was a lot of dudes. Like it was a it was something or uh, my David used to talk about it. I think it was a, like Bory or one of those talk shows. It was a guy who was a lawyer, and he eventually like dealing with this system. He said I fucked. It. He probably was a jank for real because he saw how the wickedness of this system, and he just was like fuck it. And he was a lawyer, mind you. So he make it, and he went and lived in the subway. Anybody ain't gonna do that. I mean, anybody gonna embrace that shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? That's how you know Jake for real. Because Jake be like, you know, they might partake in the customs because they fascinated by it. But then at the same time, they be like, oh my God. Like, that's why, like like a dude like Kanye. Kanye, oh my God. And that show you the power of the Most High. The Most High allowed that man to come out with a, a powerful song like uh, Jesus Walks. <laughs> hey, come on. Like, I mean, people might not like Kanye now, but Kanye came out. You gotta give him his respect. Now, today I would listen to shit. Oh, yeah, he got it bugged out, too, because, you know what I mean? But he came out with powerful stuff like that. He made statements, Bush don't like black people. You know what I mean? And now look at him. Tap dance for Donald Trump. You know what I mean? Real talk. Verse 11. But thou, O man of Yahweh, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness. Oh, so lucky. I, I, I missed it. I'm trying to get the point. Verse 10. 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And that was the point. Like I said, this, this, this Edomite, Esau, the man that run his system, he, he, that's the whole point with a lot of the worship of these holidays. Think about Christmas, think about Thanksgiving, think about uh, New Year's. All these days partaking, people spending money in this economy to keep this fucked up system going. But anyhow, uh, let me jump into these scriptures real quick because, like I said, the point of this lesson is uh, why you like worried about the love of your woman. And there's nothing wrong with a, a good woman. A good woman that's got your back, she can hold you down, but it's an order to everything. Like I said, it, it, what, it, what scripture says, it says the head of uh, the woman is the man, and the man, head of the man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of Yahweh Shai is the most high. You know what I mean? It's an order. So the same with your love. Like it says in scripture that he who does not love, I mean, he who loves his mother, his father, his children, he love, he who loves all these things before me are, is not fit to be my disciple. Roughly paraphrasing. 
you supposed to love the most high before all this man made, these people, all that. And that since the Valentine's Day is all about love, that's where we supposed to be putting our love. Because love is an action word. So love will make you like actually follow the laws, statutes, commandments. Love will make you actually seek the most high uh, ten times more. I believe that's an apocrypha. So uh, let me get a few scripts. John 13. And we're supposed to love each other. You know what I'm saying? And we see that with uh, in, in the cap. If you in the cap, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? Like, I grew up, like majority of us, well, all that's the way that the Most High set this thing up. Everybody in the caps don't walk the same walk or didn't walk the same walk. But a lot of us have walked similar walks. That's why probably we could be so brotherly with one another. But when you see, I mean, I'm talking about like when I was on the other side, before I got in the cap, them brothers were so brotherly. I mean, before I'm even in the cap, they still was blessing me with, you know what I mean, just bless me. They was, you know, because it's not about all oh, just we good dudes for man's sake. Dudes are trying to actually live by the codes of the, well, not dudes, brethren, Akim. They're trying to live by the code, codes, the law, statutes, and commandments that's put in this book. Like, I had made a statement in our group chat, you know what I mean? Esau says that the only way to truly change is to have a change of thinking. Well, that's the only way for our nation to change because if we, you know, stop following up the ways of these heathens and come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of our power, our laws, our statutes, our commandments, that will actually, you know, get us together as a nation because I, for one, can account and testify to the fact, like a few other brothers have, that we came from certain walks of life. With when we start following the law, such as commandments, we change as individuals. We're new creations. So it's possible it does work. You know what I mean? Uh, but it says, this is John 13 and 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have loved one another. And we, the, the silver brother that's in these caps, in this thing of ours, we love one another. You know what I mean? Just like... Uh, you see about our actions and, you know, the time we spend. Sometimes some brothers spend more time with other brothers than they do with, the, with you know, with they, uh, and, and, and the so-called, you know, with their blood relations. I know I do. Because I had to give up a lot of, you know, my, you know, immediate family as far as my, but my real family is, you know, my children and, and uh, you know, my my demon is like Eve got me all this bush. <laughs> I guess that really is bad. But uh, and, uh, and the brother though, because you know, it's a scripture that say that uh, a man would leave his his. I guess roughly paraphrasing his mother's uh, his, his 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 basically his, his mother and his father and cleave onto a woman. <laughs> Wrong scripture. 23. That's 22, I think. Uh, this is Matthew 22 and 37. Yahweh said unto him, now this is the Lord speaking. Hamashiach, thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. So at the end of the day, people worrying about loving, you know, uh, they woman, they children, loving and trying to partake in this system, loving, trying to worry about buying, you know, all these material things for this pagan ass holiday. You should be worried about showing love to the most high, to your creator, the one that moved heaven and earth to have you here at this appointed time. Um, got another one. I'm probably going to end it in this. Because like I said, since this holiday is all about love, but the one that you're supposed to love the most is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, this is John 14 and 15. 
And Yahweh Shah said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. That's love, you know what I mean? Following the laws, that's the commandments of the Most High. Not particularly because your woman oh, want to go to this motel and what this, you know what I mean? Like, that's going to be here. That's always been here. That's You know what I mean? When you really go back to major history, you know what I mean? You'd be surprised how, that's how you know that's really, woo. Because, like I said, you go back to major history, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Men have always loved women at the same time. They've been played to his majority of the time, you know what I mean? Like, you get over this motherfucking place, like I say, <laughs> like, you so wrong with you. I mean, I literally, not to digress, I literally got to go through this stupid-ass class, and the dude sit up there, he wanted to, on one hand, make it seem like he, you know, he wear the pants in his household, but then, on the other hand, you're literally talking about, I want her to have an opinion. I'm thinking to myself, like, well, hold on, so if she got an opinion, best believe you ain't wearing the pants like that. I ain't nothing wrong with catering to your woman and pampering your woman, and, you know what I mean? I've seen dudes buy they brought a car, house, you know what I mean? I could name a celebrity that tricked with a female that we went to school with and bought her a car one night, but you got to take time to think about it. He a celebrity. When he gave her, it's like, you know what I mean? Shit, you know what I mean? Like that dude. You know what I, mean? well, I ain't going to say no names, though. I ain't no hater. Though. I ain't going to put that bad business out there. But my point being, is, shit crazy. I got a um, job, what's that, job 15. Verse, um, job 15, verse 9. As the father, as her Abba hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Verse 10, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. See that order of that? You know what I mean? And if your woman truly loves you, she will actually abide in your commandments. It's an order. Now, brethren always go into how uh, if the man off, the household will be off. And that's, to a certain extent, I agree with that. But then I don't completely agree because sometimes we get tested. You know what I mean? Like, I know a few. That's how you know that's a spiritual thing. Because there's a few dudes in the camp that, you know, they get tested and, and plagued through their, you know, their, their, their Eve or their demon or however you label it. Through their household. You know what I mean? Because you go get tested. You go get tried. You go get afflicted. Uh I got one last scripture. Yeah, I'm going to end this first job for uh, this first job 418. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out fear. Because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. And that's the truth. Like people that fear, because you got a lot of uh What's the keyboard warriors? And, uh, you know, you got a lot of, like, we got this one guy that come down to the cap, and he, he say, uh, you know, what's that song? We ready, we ready, we ready. And then he puts it for he saw. So, you know, the spirit was on the brother today. You know, he, I mean, last cap, he was in the middle of, you know, the word coming out, and he, you know, he was offended, you know what I mean? So he said the curses on him and everything. And dude had spirits on him, though, because he was drinking. You know, now, he came down to the camp prior, wasn't as intoxicated or wasn't intoxicated at all, and, you know, heard the message. But this time, for whatever reason, he had spirits on him. He come down there, and he's conflicted with the the, 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 the man that's speaking. So it's like you conflicted with your how about your shit, your how shot. So... The curses, don't be surprised, something happened to this dude. And when we walked away, he looked, he just stared at us looking like, like in his spirit, he grieved, you know. My well, point being, he basically cheerleading, but he ain't going to stand in that field, you know what I mean? Like, we don't need no cheerleaders. Like I said, at the end of the day, like, the fuck, you know, we ain't even having our women out there cheerleading with us, you know what I mean? 
an R cap, it ain't no women. I love that about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how you know it's a difference to this thing. R cap is totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah, of course, repercussions gonna come with it. Like, like at the end of the day, yeah, H O I might have been the ones that got looked at, and the most I used as the ones that okay, you know, start uh, opening the world eyes to. Well, I ain't gonna say start, but open the, oh, uh, you know. To do major change by opening more people's eyes with HOI, but who did they show supposedly assaulting the woman? <laughs> who 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 did they show with that clip? Right, you know, it was funny how they did it. You know, everybody else it looked like they was just talking to. And they could be cordial and they could converse, but uh, <laughs> GMS it looked like, like, oh yeah, we the violent, we the military. And then when you hear. Dudes sit up there and say that. I've literally heard dudes say that. Like, it's another cap that comes out of the cap where we cap. Uh, you know, this is one guy. He runs from both different caps. You know what I mean? Like, we told him to stop cutting his beard. You know, motherfucker still cut his beard. And then it was funny. It was one day I saw him at a, a, a undisclosed location. And, well, I saw him at the library. Long story short, and, uh, he up there. He like, oh, yeah, you were part of GMS. And I'm like, huh? So then when he came back the following week and he on the line, I say, they, they got on him about his, his beard again. And he, uh, I say, oh, see, that's funny. You can remember me and see me and recognize me, but you can't recognize or remember not to cut your beard. So I haven't seen him in a while. We haven't seen him in a while. That's the funny part about it because it's like, it says that's a law. You're supposed to keep your beard, you know what I mean? And you're supposed to not, uh, like, line up your beard. But yeah, still, though, it's, you know, People want to take the scriptures and uh, conform to what they want. It ain't about what you want, it's what the most high want. I'm going to end on this note. Uh, uh, I read that part. So, you know, I don't know if it's out of fear because a lot of said, a lot of dudes ain't going to stand on that stand on that field, stand on that line. And, and, and you think the fear, I mean, we ain't really even seen persecution yet. Come on, man. You going to have dudes that have been in this thing and yeah, super, super Israelite. You know, like how they say, uh, Super crip, you know what I mean? Super Israelites, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be, oh, hold up, you know what I mean? They're gonna be doing like a like a Peter all day. Uh, was it you with him? Oh, no, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me, you know what I mean? Like, real talk. Verse four, uh, verse 19, we love him because first he loved us. Salaki, verse 19, we love him because he first loved us. So that's why we do this thing, because he loved us enough to come shed blood for, for us. I, th- I got one last scripture. I'm going to end on that note. Oh, five, eight. But Yahweh commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Bashiach died for us. And that's the thing. He died for the elect. You know what I mean? So th- that correlates to, uh, like with uh, First John. He first loved us, so he died for us. He died for his elect. Because everybody is not going to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. And that, that tells you that in Zechariah 13 and 8. That's why a lot of Israel are going to be destroyed. they just too caught up in. Well, was, actually, like their spirit was, I mean, this was preordained by the most high anyway, but, you know, they just too in love with, with Babylon. You know what I mean? Being my spirit, I, I truly believe that all of it, because it's, it's still things got to take place. The most I got things set up specifically, but a brother was sitting up there saying that this word went around the whole four corners of the earth. It's, it's out there uh, way more so with the CNN thing, but I don't think so that everybody know about it because, I mean, like, it was a dude walked up to the camp just at, uh, what was that, Sunday, and, you know, he was sincere. You know what I mean? Now, he was bugged out. He was on, like, 15 different philosophies, but... He was sincere. He said, man, listen, I'm not trying to come scoff or anything. He's like, I'm not a scoffer or any of that. He's like, I'm really sincerely trying to learn. And, and, and that's a scary thing when you sit up there to talk to a dude that came that humble and still can't get it. So that proved that the most high could turn that that, that acknowledgement and understanding on and off like that. So I want to thank the water, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, for opening my eyes to the truth because like I said that gives me a chance of salvation me and my family so with that I want to give all praise 
Outer glory call, hello, la Yahweh by Yashib, Yahweh Shah by Yashib, Rachakodash Rakatha, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the Aki and Barada, four quarters of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Shalom to the uh, hopeful elect, shalom to the uh, sincere Akim, shalom to the Akwaf of the Akim out there listening and learning, shalom to the confusion of faith, brethren. Adawah uh, Ratazah. Uh, I'll come at you with another lesson soon. And until then, shalom, shalom, and a ball.